Hey everybody, it's Andrew Cartwright here and here is your unemployment update. It just sounds, it, unemployment, yuck, right? Find out how some states have already opted into that $300 weekly unemployment benefit. Find out who's joined the, we're not giving you a $400 team, and how long it could take you to hit your bank account, what you can expect and what you can prepare for after this. For the best news and information on how to master your money, dominate your money, business, and life, stay tuned to the channel. Hit the like button, just hit it, turn it from gray to blue. Does so much for the YouTube algorithm, they love it. So please like the video. Also, when I hit 70,000 subscribers, I am going to give away $700 cash, which is coming up very soon. No gimmick, no card, no nothing. $700 cash, all you have to do is like, Subscri subscribe, hit the bell notification, put a comment in the video and you'll be in the running. And as a cheat code, put it in the last 10 videos and you'll be entered with them too. Some random person's gonna be picked. Also grab your two re free Rebull stocks down below, open up an account. Second one could be valued for as much as $1,400, no catch. Well, happy Friday everyone. Hope you had a good week and have an awesome weekend. I hope you're getting ready to just party in front of the television at home anyway let's get into it after a chaotic week try to figure out how much money unemployment claims will be eligible for following president trump's executive action last week saturday it looks like most of us are going to be getting what i thought which is 300 dollars a week from the feds states were complaining like crazy about the extra hundred dollars that was going to be pulled it back from them after being given to them states are scared right now that they're going to get zero money from the republicans but the question still remains such as when are these benefits going to be available yes you may feel shortchanged from the executive order and who is going to collect them so yes okay now we got an idea that we're not going to get the full amount when this unemployment extension requires collaboration with each state's unemployment program to either accept the $300 payment or work to provide an extra $100 and offer claimants $400 a week, which I'm hoping most states go that route. I have some that did not, which I'll be sharing with you. Some states have already thrown in the towel and opted to receive the federal 300 weekly benefit completely bypassing the $400 payment. You know, they threw in the towel of giving you more money and playing it safe. I'm hearing that Ohio, I'm sorry, Ohio, Colorado, Alaska, and Louisiana, I'm sorry guys, um, not good news. They've already opted in and committed to offering their state claimants $300 in weekly federal funding, as well as at least $100 from the state benefits. So. You're not going to get the extra, but you'll get, you'll at least get it. They've at least decided that, you know, they've made a decision, right? An executive action as the governor did, right? While I'd love to tell, I'd love for everybody to receive 400. In fact, I would love to see everybody get $600 weekly. I'm glad that some states are taking action to ensure that their citizens will receive something, something, some kind of federal unemployment benefit. Plus, once the system begins dispersing payments, you'll receive the backdated checks, that's the promise anyway, for all of these weekly sitting around waiting for, and we've seen it in the comments, people get their backdated checks. I didn't mean to make you think that it's not happening. People get backdated checks, it happens every day. Um, and with this, I don't think it'll be different. These new extended unemployment benefits to begin, you should get that backdated amount without a problem. Um, unfortunately, though, that might take some time as states will likely have to create new systems to deliver these unemployment benefits to claimants. They'll have to create a whole new system. Penny Ikes from the Department of Labor and Industry, she explains, quote, it would have to be created from scratch and run parallel 
with our existing unemployment benefit program. So they've got to work together. She continued, this is not something that any state will be able to do quickly. That's like not good words, right? Like a <laughs> little positive. We, we got to keep it real here, right? Another analyst, Andrew Stetner, is a pretty cool name, echoed these concerns, stating, quote, I don't think anyone will see this money in August, so I would prepare and plan appropriately. Um, we're count, you can count on computer issues. You can compound, count on states wondering what they're going to do. So just plan on you're going to get it, but if there's a, I don't know, I just got a, you know, 0% interest credit card. I don't know, do I get a credit card with 0% interest and put it on there until, you know, the money comes in, right? It's really this difficult? Really. It's, it's really this difficult. Just press the button. Turn the $600 machine back on. But make it 300 this time. I, I, I thought you guys had this worked out. Just like cut it in half. It's like I should run for president or something, you know, just it's so simple. Would you vote for me? Would you vote for me if I ran? Let me know in the comments below. You guys are probably saying, um, heck no, we wouldn't do that. I'm just, yeah. I'm pretty sure I'd win the vote in, I hope, you know, all the states like Maryland, Missouri, uh, West Virginia, California, Ohio, New Jersey, Indiana, Michigan, Maine, New York, Pennsylvania, Oklahoma, West, uh, Wisconsin, uh, Florida, South Carolina, Arkansas, we forgot them a few, few weeks in a row, North Carolina, Iowa, Alaska, Oregon, Texas, Georgia, Illinois, Louisiana, Tennessee, Washington, and New Mexico. And I'm just kidding about running for politics here. Yeah, no. Uh, we hate them all. They, I, I can't, can I, how could I even talk to these people I, or even trust them? I, I just don't, even, you know, you wonder, like, they say one thing, but they're doing other things. And that's not my, my thing. I don't know how to say one thing and do another thing. It just doesn't work so much for me since they don't seem to care. It feels like they don't care about us. At least that's the, they're all gone right now. They left on their jet planes and they're leaving us hanging for a month. Yeah, wouldn't happen. I would sit there just because um, that's where I should be, even if nobody was there. I know it's tough for so many of you out there, but you need to stay strong and keep fighting for your unemployment benefits. I know people have like just given up hope. Keep filing your weekly benefits. Hopefully these new weekly $300 will begin soon and you'll get your money. For those of you that are still waiting to on your initial unemployment claims, don't stop calling your state's unemployment hotline until you get an answer and can prove your claim to get your money. It's, I know it'll seem daunting and crazy and hard, but you'll get through eventually. If you still haven't applied for your unemployment benefit or you're just, this is just the first time watching the channel, welcome. A lot of people have been shocked when they hear what I say and actually have gotten a backdated check with all their benefits and didn't even know they could file. You can still receive a backdated check for thousands of dollars as well as the new $300 benefit moving forward. And don't forget, a lot of people don't realize this, gig workers, self-employed, independent contractors, 1099 workers, you guys are eligible for these extended unemployment benefits that are typically aren't able because they didn't collect your unemployment insurance money so you don't think you should get so this is not the case this is a new crazy thing out there check with your state unemployment pua guidelines and put your claim in before the state runs out of money and the resources to give you the money these vital vital resources are you know i don't know um you should get them right in case they're no longer available so go get them don't discount yourself just answer the questions honestly you would be shocked how many people thought they weren't and didn't deserve this. They answered the questions and they got paid. Thank you so much for watching. Please keep sharing your experience with the PUA and the unemployment benefit in your state. It means so much to everybody in your state or that can actually see what your experience is. It makes them feel like they're not crazy. 
And please let me know, has your state joined Ohio, Colorado, um, Alaska, and Louisiana in committing to the $300 weekly? <laughs> I wanted to say, that, uh, did they go cheapo? Did they go cheapo? Did they, did they cheap out on us? Let me know in the comments. I'm Andrew Cartwright. Take care. I love you. I hope you have an awesome weekend. I will be here, though, if you come back and watch the videos Saturday and Sunday. I will be here to give you some more love and whatever I find out in the hours of research. I wish there was so much more to tell you, and I'm frustrated and mad that there's not more to tell you right now. It is so sparse and so, like, ah, you have no idea. Love you.